Hello everyone, I'm Sin and this is Sin on a Budget. Today, I will be stuffing my cash envelopes. But before I get started, today is Mother's Day, so I just wanted to take the time to say Happy Mother's Day to all the moms, grandmas, aunts, godparents, and anyone that had to do with raising kids. Because as they say, it takes a village to raise a child. Also, I wanted to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I am now at 100 subscribers, and I wanted to take the time to say thank you. Also, if you've watched me at least two times, then subscribe. Why not? Doesn't cost anything. So let me put this away. Going into my journal first to see what I did this week to save and why I'm saving. This week to save, I really didn't do anything this week. This week, I was running out getting things for Mother's Day. And also, my daughter graduated this week. So, I was running around getting things for that. So, I ate out. There were times that I forgot to bring my lunch. Um, I definitely was running out getting uh, coffee. There was a lot of things that I did this week that I really just didn't think about when it came to spending. That's the good thing about me doing this channel is to be able to hold myself accountable for what I did and I did not do. And my goal is to pay off my credit card. All right, let's put this away. So as you can tell, I have two envelopes here. I have one that I'll be stuffing for this week. And then this other envelope is actually the remaining money that I have left from my Mother's Day gifts. So first thing, let's count this and see what I have left over. So I have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So I have $44 left for Mother's Day. And I also have some change. And I have 25, 50, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. So I have $44.86 remaining for Mother's Day. So the change I'm going to put in my change bin. As well as change that I got out of my wallet. I'm going to have to keep one of my dimes. Now I don't know which one is my lucky dime. Well... I'll find out next week. So what I've decided to do with this $44, I'm actually going to leave it for next week as part of my savings challenge money. And now let's count and see what I have for this week for my cash envelopes. So I will be stuffing with 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, $200. So I'll also probably be doing a bill exchange for some of these as well. All right, so the first one I'm going to do is my orange binder. So first is car. This is car maintenance. Like I said, for oil changes, uh, brakes, anything like that. So that is getting a 20. So that brings to 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95. All right, so that's $95 for maintenance. And then the next thing is car insurance. Car insurance is also going to get a 20. So that brings to 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So that is... $100 for car insurance. Apartment insurance is done, so I don't have to worry about this. And it's not due to the end of the year. But the good thing is, I'm a couple months ahead. All right, AAA. AAA is also getting a 20. So that is 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75. That is $175 that's going in for AAA. So also, 
speaking of school, my daughter graduated from school yesterday. School is also going to get a 20. So now she's actually going to be going off to a university and is going to be living on campus. So that is 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120. Actually, let's change these two tens for a 20. Okay, so let's put this away. So next is emergency. Emergency is also going to get a 20. So now with my daughter going to school, she does a lot of the cooking. So now uh, between me and my other daughter, you know, we'll figure it out. 100, 20, 40, 60, 80. That's $180 towards emergency. The thing is, is that, let's face it, she is one of the better cooks between us. Wow. <laughs> All right, medical. Medical is gonna also get, you know what? I think I'll do 10 for medical. So now that is 50, 60, 70. That is $70 for medical. And the thing is, me and my other daughter can cook, and my other daughter has gotten better. But, you know, there's always that one person that can slay anything. And, well, that's just my daughter. She can cook anything. All right, latte. Latte is also going to get a 10. And for anyone new here, latte is my cat. My latte is my all right, so that is 20, 30, 40, 50. That is now $50 in for latte. So now my daughter getting ready to go live on campus. It is now about trying to figure out everything that she needs, if we have it here, if she needs to buy it. But we definitely are gonna have to buy a refrigerator. The daughter keeps telling me that she thinks she's gonna need an air fryer. There's certain things when it comes to school, I'm not even sure if they're going to be allowed to have an air fryer in the dorm. Okay, next is debt. Debt is just is going to get, uh, let's put a 10 in for debt. Same thing. Let's switch these, get the two, put that 20 back in here, and now I will take out a 10. So now debt has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. That is $100 going towards debt. She wants to get one of those apartment style uh, dorms. Okay, next is month ahead. Month ahead is also going to get a 10. All right, so now that is 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. That is $80 towards month ahead. For myself, I think I might just do a 10. Do I have, let me see if I have another 10 somewhere in here. I think I did. Yes, I do. Let's exchange these two 10s and put a 20 here. I'm just doing it this way so that I don't mix any money up here. All right, so let's put that back in my head, that 20. All right, so for myself, I said I was going to give myself a 10. So now that brings it to twenty dollars. Uh, we also are going to need to look for um, new comforters, a bed sheet, uh, things like that. That she's also going to need for the dorm. Let's change because I didn't realize that those beds are actually a different size bed from a regular full size bed. So she needs all new sheets, comforters to make sure that she has the right sheets and everything for the bed because the bed is like a double or triple XL or something like that in, as far as size. It's not a normal size bed. All right, birthday. This birthday is also gonna get a 10. So 
until it brings it to 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 35, 135 dollars for birthday. All right, the second birthday is also gonna get a 10. So ex let's exchange these two as well. I'll change these two tens. Put a 10 in and get a 20 for that difference. So now that brings it to 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 100, 105 dollars. Mother's Day. Mother's Day is done until next year, and then we will start all over again. All right, vacation. Vacation is going to get a 10. Also, a lot of times when I do my stuffing, I try to think ahead and write down where I plan on putting things. But today, just didn't even think about it. So today, I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants here. All right, so vacation, that is 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 105, 110. So now vacation has $110. Passport. Passport, I actually just want to put a 5 in. So let me see what I have in here. 5, 10, 15, 20. All right, so that's perfect because I have 120 left. So I'll put these two 5s in, the four 5s in there. I'll put the 20 in here. Oh, no, wait. I'm also putting a five in first. So now I have $25 for Passport. So Thanksgiving, um, I think on my next stuffing, I'm going to start Thanksgiving and Christmas. Costco's, I do believe I have that full because like I said, it was 60 for Costco's for every year. 20 25, 30, 35. Oh, sure don't. Okay, so let's put a five in for Costco's. What was I thinking about then? Uh, I must have been thinking about the insurance. The apartment insurance that I have full. I was going to do that and fill up my Costco's. And then I was like, nah, I still got time. Because it's really not even due until November. That's why I put it back here. With things that's more towards the end of the year. And things that are not a priority. All right. So that's Costco's. Uh, Christmas, that's also going to probably start the next one. Move and miscellaneous. And I have 10 left. So that is simple. Move is going to get a 5. So that brings it to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So that is... $25 for move. Then that's another thing. The car that I have now is smaller than my old car. And my old car, I probably could have moved, I feel like, all of her stuff in almost one shot in that car. But now that I have a smaller car, it's going to be a little tough. The good thing is, is that uh, both my kids have cars. So if it boils down to it, I think everybody's going to be loading their cars up to get stuff in the dorm. The thing is, is because the dorms are so small, like the dorm rooms, there's only so much that she really needs. I'm already trying to get her to start purging so that by the time she has to go to the dorm. All right, here's another five for miscellaneous. It's five, ten, fifteen. So by the time she gets to the dorm, she doesn't have a lot of stuff that she has to figure out. I'm trying to get her to start trying to live off the bare minimum. Guys, that is it for my stuffing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. All right, guys, have a good day. Bye.